I'm a fruit fan, but I still think everyone should know about this study. Because when plant-based neurologists, Dr. Aisha and Dean Shazai, who are also renowned Alzheimer's disease specialists, made the statement that sugar is the poison of the 21st century, especially because of what it does to your brain, people rightly started asking about the safety of fruit, especially higher GI fruits such as watermelon, pineapple, mango, bananas, etc. So in this video we're going to look at a study that I think's not talked about enough. Now Dr. Scherzai explained how sustained elevated blood glucose levels have a devastating effect on your brain. Just one example is that elevated sugar causes osmotic imbalances, which means the movement of fluids between cells, and this can start damaging the cells themselves. Even Dr. Joel Furman recommends for the average person no more than three to five portions of fruit a day due to quote the high glycemic effect of fruit, so he recommends limiting fruit and prioritizing vegetables, nuts, seeds and beans. So now let's Let's hear from Dr. Michael Greger of nutritionfacts.org in an interview with Dr. Nick Delgado. But in terms of fruit, I mean, there's been studies that people ate literally dozens of servings of fruit a day and just had benefits in terms of triglycerides and liver fat, all the things you worry about getting too much industrial sources of sugar, Even up like to 20 servings of fruit. 20 servings of fruits a day, health promoting. Jenkins, the index, yeah, David, the glycemic, right, so glycemic the, index, right, the, proved it was safe. Right, right. No, so, right the Jenkins, he, was, he invented the glycemic index and he put people on this incredibly high fruit, high vegetable diet and actually had the most powerful uh, cholesterol-lowering effect ever seen in any dietary trial. Wow. I mean, unbelievable. In fact, within two weeks, dropped as much as you get in like a statin. No side effects, obviously. I mean, it was, it was just remarkable, remarkable benefits. But what if you have pre-existing blood sugar problems or even diabetes? Does the advice change? So you randomize diabetics to increase their fruit intake or decrease their fruit intake. Who does better in terms of long-term blood sugar control? Those increasing their fruit intake because fruit comes prepackaged with polyphenols and dietary fiber slow the absorption of sugar through the intestinal wall. If they do better, their hemoglobin A1C actually comes Right, so long-term blood yeah. sugar control improves by eating more fruit. It improves your insulin sensitivity yeah. on down the list. Next, we'll find out the amazing things that happened when people ate 20 strawberries a day.